I'm excited about the opportunity for our team to go out and compete in the SEC um, conference tournament. It's always good um, when you get a chance to go out and play another game of basketball, and that's why I want our guys to kind of look at this opportunity. Um, obviously, you got the first game against South Carolina, uh, but then beyond that, just getting a chance to go out and play basketball again. And I think any young man that comes in to play college basketball wants the opportunity to continue his season. And um, this gives them an opportunity to do that. Um, then also just want to give special recognition to, to Gavin Ware and, and Craig Swore for being named to the SEC All-Freshman team. Uh, I tell you, I would have been surprised if, if two of our guys didn't make it. I think Fred Thomas um, probably can uh, receive serious consideration for that honor as well, too. But for two of our guys to make that um, shows that we have a bright future here at uh, Mississippi State, and those guys can – hopefully come from being like SEC all-freshman guys to all-SEC guys in their future. So um, that's it. When you go into an SEC tournament like this, a lot of people say it's wide open or whatever, and obviously you have a very young team. You've had some struggles with one, two, the last three. Do you guys talk about, hey, let's see if we can make a run, or do you just take it one game at a time because of these guys? I'm, I'm an old adage, one, one game at a time. I mean, there is no next game if you don't win the game in front of you. And it's been proven that South Carolina can beat us, but it's also been proven that we can beat South Carolina. So um, I don't think we can look past now South Carolina. Um, but uh, I just think, like, everybody talks about the SEC tournament being wide open. I mean, I don't really know what that means. Um, but uh, I don't know if it's wide open for everybody. Um, but uh, I'm looking for the opportunity for our guys to go out and see what we can do against South Carolina. We'll take care of that first. In the last game, you know, y'all played against them, Gavin, I think only had two shots. What do y'all need to do a little different to get him more involved this time? Well, it's twofold. I mean, he has to do a better job of posting and getting opportunities to get the ball to him. But I think the most important thing is because of the way they pressure so much, I, I thought that we turned away from looking downhill, I called it, um, we're, we're looking out um, to pass the basketball instead of looking down. And so I thought he had some posting opportunities that our guys passed because um, they couldn't fight the pressure of South Carolina. So we got to do a yeah. better job of fighting that pressure and being able to see him in the post because there were some times that he was open in the post and we had our back to him because of the pressure that South Carolina applied. Um, but I thought also sometimes like Gavin Ware was posting way off the block and there wasn't enough room to post the You've seen him twice, obviously, you have a pretty good feel for South Carolina. What's the, the main factors? So. Well, I think the first thing is, is containing Bruce Ellington. Um, I think he does a really good job of getting into the paint, um, not just in transition, but also in the half-court setting. I thought we did a pretty decent job of that in the second game. Um, I thought he got a lot of baseline drives, and we got to do a better job of keeping him off the baseline drives. I think the second thing is, obviously, our defense on Brenton Williams. Um, I think he started to turn the corners being a score for them, and I thought that uh, we were very sound guarding him. Obviously, he got 38 points. The other thing that we did a terrible job of is we fouled him too much. Uh, I think for the most part, we've done a really good job of like getting to the free throw line a lot more than our opponents. And in this particular game, we set them to the free throw line way too much.